Hello Chocks and Chocettes, I'm in between, Chuck Alberta here for another video review, this time we have Fry's Raspberry Cream. Yes, very excited about this one, I stumbled upon it um, just off chance really, I think I was in B&M or Pound, um, Poundland, I think it was B&M I think, and I found these. Um, yeah, Fry's Raspberry Cream really, so d definitely, um, well, basically, Fry's have kind of been in the wilderness for a long time, they, they make a few chocolate bars, mainly their Turkish Delight, I guess is what they're famous for. But they also make uh, these, I think, these sort of fondant cream bars and I think a peppermint one as well. Um, but recently they, they came back and did a one I think they did years ago, the orange cream. They reintroduced it or they've, or they've done a new one, the orange cream. And you thought, well, that's good. That's something a bit different and nice to see them again, you know. And then uh, they've done the raspberry cream as well and um, and done this traditional packaging as well, this uh, child with uh, various, uh, <laughs> in various states of happiness or sadness. Um, it's usually basically, uh, <laughs> I think it's the five stages of chocolate, I think. So you've got desperation, pacification, expectation, acclimation, and realisation it's fries. It's got 300 gold medals and diplomas. And I think that's possibly the bar. So that's the different stages there, so you can see. I can't read them out what they are again, I can't what they are, but you can see them there. There we go. <laughs> so I guess it's classic bar shapes, uh, classic uh, fries wrapping. So there's three bars in this. So as far as I know, you can't get them individually, but maybe you can. But they come in packs of three. Um, all the fry stuff generally does. The only one that's a bit funny is the uh, the Turkish Delight seems to come in a different style of bar completely, really. Um, but I guess now the fries back in the day, famous for um, the fries five cents, and I didn't hear of this, and I think it's until a few people mentioned it um, in the comments. It used to be quite a major bar, and uh, it is, I think the Cadbury's... Um, snack bar in Australia is, is a similar concept where it's got like a segmented bar with five different centres and the fries five centres are one of them and I think they could possibly almost do it now because they've got the raspberry cream, the orange cream, the peppermint cream, Turkish delight and the regular just uh, fondant cream so they could technically do it but obviously the, fond the regular fondant one's not really got flavour but they've got five different centres so yeah with the colour them in it could be good it could be done it could be good right so yeah so raspberry cream Make us to the, make us to TM the King and Queen. I don't know who, what, TM their majesty maybe. Yeah, could be. <laughs> yeah, but it's not, oh, he does have the Queen's Royal Seal on here. Yes, yeah, someone in the comments was asking me how to differentiate between UK and US bars, and I was saying the nutritional values look different. So you can see nutritional values there, sort of um, very understated and a bit less apparent than the US ones. But also this sort of symbol here, see that Queen coat of arms there we get that generally in the UK as well I don't think the US imports or whatever or US sort of you know Cadbury well basically acting on behalf of a UK company but making them in the in the US or other countries would have that on them I'm not sure so you can see that there basically says uh, I don't know the Queen approves or something like that there's a few of them for various different royals um, yeah by appointments of HM the Queen Her Majesty the Queen yeah, so really, it's a bit odd how it doesn't say Her Majesty, Her Majesty the Queen, so Their Majesty, yeah, the King and Queen. Well, I guess it would because it's the King and Queen in that case. But um, we don't usually say the, yeah, it's usually a, a Queen or a King really in the UK. There's a King probably or a Queen, whoever they're married to, but you generally, one of them is really the monarch and you want just the, what do they call it, the uh, escort, would you say? I don't know. <laughs> That's a bit dodgy when I say that, but uh, yeah, something, uh, I don't know, I can't remember, there's another, there's another official name for it, I can't remember what it is, consort maybe, I think it's probably consort, I think. So again, we are passionate about our uh, great quality Cadbury products, so they're owned by Cadbury now, fries. So there we go, not completely satisfied, so maybe this is Cadbury's way of actually doing some unique flavours, perhaps, I don't know, because I'm st stuck with Mondelez every other way. Um, but yeah, so, uh, yes, yeah, so let's get, get in touch if you're not happy and stuff like that, but this is Mondelez Island as well, so you've got the Irish name so they're not really even trying to pretend to be Cadbury there so you've got Cadbury UK Birmingham or whatever it's, it's in fact to say Mondelez UK so there we go so yeah they are not bothered there either so this is chocolate with a raspberry flavoured fondant sensor 52% don't know what the rest is but there we go make it say not sweet not suitable summer with a milk allergy chocolate contains vegetable fats in addition to cocoa butter so calorie wise per bar 49 grams 203 calories 6.2 grams of fat 3.9 of which is saturates so I like the way a lot of cab bars now are telling you specifically what's in the bar, you know, the, the specific to the bar, you know, 39 gram bar, whatever it is, 49 gram, rather than just per 100 grams and you've got to work it out yourself. It seems to be less common to do that now, so that's good. Yes, yeah, so there we go. I think it's got a very nice, uh, yeah, very nice wrapper. I think we should uh, 
Get in and give it an open. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> oh, <that's what laughs> just seen what's best before as well. It's even got a time on there. I don't know if you can see that. So 2020, but it's got a time there. 27 past 5, it goes off. So yeah, 47 past 5. Yeah, so don't eat it at 48 past 5, whatever you do. <laughs> okay, let's give it an open. Right, so hopefully I'm centered everyone. Let's, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's open it up. So there should be three bars in here. All going well. And there is. <laughs> there's ever been doubt, really. So there we go. So let's put two of them off to the side. Here we go. So yeah, so you can see what it is there. This is what they all look like. They have like a dark chocolate outer shell. Well, not outer shell, outer, well, covering. And that sort of fondant cream in the middle. Yeah, who's going to center in okay? There we go. Not very nice, very indulgent, I think. So does he actually say it was dark chocolate on the back? So. It's just a chocolate with raspberry flavoured from the centre, 52%. It did really say dark chocolate, but I'm quite sure it is. It contains soya, may contain nuts, wheat, not suitable for some of the milk allergy. Or nut allergy, presumably. For full ingredients, me and I see the other pack, multi pack bar. Yeah, so it doesn't say it's dark chocolate. Oh, yeah. Rich dark chocolate with a smooth fondant centre. I think you said it looked very nice, these. They do look very nice. Definitely, so yeah. Like the wrapping, they look very beautiful actually. I love the way it just is like a slight gradient into the these colours as well. On the back is not much to talk about because it's a you know it's just a multi pack bar so it doesn't really give you much. But yeah, I think that looks really nice. Really nice. A bit of flourishes there. You can almost let them get away with it because it looks that good. Um they're using the flourishes to the advantage of the bar really, of the packaging, which is as in make it look nicer, which is okay. Yeah, 16 centimetres. It reminds me of a Pokemon of some kind, actually. <laughs> we found one of those salamanders, almost, with the colour, the coloration is like the, the ears they have. Uh, or the, maybe the hands, I can't remember now, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, those rare, almost extinct ones, but yeah, very beautiful creatures. But there we go, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's nice. I think this should give it an open. Mm. Yeah, really nice quality, good quality, indulgent-looking bars. One a bit sophisticated, but it looks nice. I've got a lovely smell from it as I open it. Really nice smell. Mmm, so lovely. Nice good smell. Yeah, so these ones are a bit similar to perhaps the um, the fillings you get in, the, in Quality Street. Um, maybe Cadbury's Roses, but more Quality Street. I think the sensors they have for their, their raspberry and orange creams in that. But I think this will taste a lot better. And there you go, look, you can see. Yeah, it looks very... Uh, yeah. It's very nice. That. I think that's really. I think they always look really nice. The, the fries bars and there's no tie tracks or anything on that side. Very beautiful. Mm. Yeah, looks looks like good quality. So I think um, let's have a look. So yeah, blah blah blah. blah. Well, it's twelve and a half cent. Twelve point six. Pretty much long. Width three and a half centimeters. Height. Well, it's a dome. It's sort of like a half as well. It's a dome, isn't it? But well, about one centimeter. You can see that's the shape of it there, so obviously one centimetre in the middle. Nice to put two of them together actually, wouldn't it? And then you have uh, like a, well, well not quite a circle, but it'd be, that'd be good. Or different different types, different flavours. Um, yeah, so let's see what was the length with the flourishes. Got one of the other ones. Because I can almost let them off really, but <laughs> almost. About 16 centimetres, wasn't it? Yeah, so. Hmm. Yeah, about 16.2 in this case, maybe 16 and a half. But now it's gone down to what was it, 11? 12 and a half, 12 and a half, 12.6. Um, yeah, that's about four centimeters there almost. Yeah, so it's very nice. It doesn't really melt your hands either because it's uh, dark chocolate, so it's not uh, really creamy or melty, so that's good. Let's give it a bit of a snap, shall we? So there's six, seven segments you can see there. They're not really snappable segments, though, you'd have to say. I mean, Slight dint in them, but the score, but not really enough to snap it. I think. Let's give it a try anyway. Yeah, it's breaking at the bottom actually before the top when I tried to snap it. But there you go. That's what you get. So there's no, not coloured. There's no, they're not. It'd be nice. I guess it'd be nice in appearance-wise at least if you don't get worried about artificial colours maybe. Um, well, I'm sure they could do it without artificial colours. But it'd be nice if they coloured that pink. I think or red or whatever. Well, pink really. A raspberry colour anyway. It smells nice. It doesn't smell any stronger though than it did when I first opened it. Although the other side smells a bit nicer actually for some reason. This side has a bit stronger smell. 
It's a nice fresh smell actually. Mm. Yeah, very, it's quite subtle, it's not overly strong, but it's, it's nice. Mm, I like that smell. Oh, let's give it a go, let's give it a taste. <laughs> yeah, it smells very nice though, it's a lovely smell. As I say, it's quite subtle. Um, yeah, but a nice raspberry smell. It smells similar to another, what was it? Which one ever smelled that smell before? I don't know. Mm. Maybe one of the milker bars, maybe there, one of those raspberry cream or raspberry. You know, like the sort of raspberry you get on ice creams where you do it. And there's some of the, some chocolate bars have got that. I think milk is one, and I think there was another one I reviewed not long ago with that in. I can't feel what it was there. Mm. But yeah. Anyway, <laughs> if I remember, I'll put a put like some kind of caption onto it. But yeah, there we go. But let's give it a taste. <laughs> right, I'm going to taste uh, the bit I snapped off before. Let's give it a go. That's this most gorgeous. Mm. I think it's probably a Jaffa cake I was thinking of before. Maybe a raspberry Jaffa cake. I'm not sure, but anyway. There's a few things, who knows? <laughs> Let's give it a go. Hmm. <laughs> well. Hmm. It's funny, it tastes like it smells. <laughs> um, which is unusual. I know it sounds like you'd think it would always well, it smells like raspberry, but I mean it actually tastes like the way you smell it. Hmm. Well, it's a bit hard to break up into segments this. Um so I tried to, but yeah. Hmm. So it's not stringy, it's quite powdery ish almost. Hmm. Yeah. The fondant sense does get a bit cloggy. Um hmm. Funny one this one. Yeah. Uh, I think it's probably a bit nicer maybe than the quality street fondants you get in there. Um those kind of fondant creams. But uh hmm, I don't know. I think it's always gonna have that fondanty taste, obviously. For obvious reasons, um, hmm. So it kind of is a raspberry fondant, so it's quite cloggy, it's got the typical fondant kind of taste and freshness, I guess you'd say, but also that kind of catching your throat taste. Hmm, it's not unpleasant though, it's nice. I think it's just uh, hmm, dark chocolate again works well with it. It's definitely got to be dark chocolate, there's milk chocolate, I just don't think it would work. I think you always have uh, dark chocolate with these fondant cream centers. Uh, mm. I like the dark chocolate. I like the raspberry tails. This means the fondant itself is quite cloggy and quite thick, you know. The raspberry taste is it's very synthetic. It's not a real raspberry taste. Um, it's quite refreshing, though. It's nice. At least one knows if it was wrapped up into individual sweets, it would probably be better. Because you know, it's just having a whole bar of it is perhaps a bit much. And it'd be nice to have it. It'd be nice if they did do sweets of this. I don't know why they don't do it actually, like a selection box with individual segments of these, or wrapped individually, or something. You have the different flavors. Maybe the fries five cents. You know, should they need to do it now? Uh, maybe they're maybe they're bigging themselves up for it now. They've got different flavors. Hmm. I think it's nice. I think it's just a bit. It's just hard to eat the whole bar. I think this one and the orange one are definitely very nice. It'd be nice for them to do more you know, flavours as well, you know, perhaps banana or pineapple or whatever. Hmm. Which, which are flavours in the well the pineapple one anyways in the in the snack, in the cabbage snack in Australia in Australia. Um hmm. Yeah, I'm getting through the bar actually and I'm quite enjoying it. I think it's nice. I think it's um a bit different. The raspberry's quite refreshing, as I say, it's not too strong a flavour, and I think that's Good because I think the fondant is quite strong, and I think with two with a strong raspberry flavour and a strong fondant might be a bit much. I think they've just balanced it just about right. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's one of those where you've got to like obviously the fondant. You know, if you don't like that kind of weird texture and taste, you know, you're just not going to like these. And I do quite like it. I think um I think mean, in Nestle Quality Street, I think their fondant sensors are just not very nice. Their flavourings, you know, their orange flavour and the raspberry's not that great. Well, I think this raspberry's nice. I think it works a lot better. Hmm. And the dark chocolate's nice, as I say. It has a good feel, a sophisticated feel to it. <clears throat> I think it's probably... I just think it suffers for me because these fondant centres are not my favourite ever. Um, but I do like them. They're not, just not my favourite. And I think if you if they're not your favourite, you're not going to be... They're not going to change your mind, no matter what flavour... 
they changed the center to. <laughs> um, but I do like it. I think, you know, it's a guilty pleasure, really, I think, this one. Um, I think a four out of five, yeah. I like it. Mm. Mm. As I say, it's probably not quite the same four out of five as something else that's a bit more in your face, if you know what I mean. But it's just something a bit special about it. It has a nice feel to it. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit of an elegant feel, a bit of a, I'm going to say, a guilty pleasure, as in something, you know, a bit, um, a bit refined, a bit of a treat, you know, it's that kind of sort of bar, I think, and um, it works, you know. Mm. No, I like it. I think four out of five, definitely. And it's good to see fries coming back with different flavours, and uh, and hopefully, as I say, hopefully this is a precursor to the fries five cents, or at least they'll do some others, maybe, Um get that fry, fry, fries five cents out and i think that'd be a very big bar and i'd love to have that so maybe one or two other flavors because i think the other fondant creams have got a two plain um or maybe it won't quite work one of them is a mint as i say so maybe they need a couple of flavors i don't know but they've got turkey start raspberry and orange possibly the mint or possibly just a flavorless cream one so two more and um, they'll have a five center there definitely but they could do it already almost so yeah so very much in favor of this so four out of five i like it elegant nice dark chocolate Feels good, looks good, smells nice. Um, as I say, and, uh, and yeah, and the and the, the flavours just right, I think, just right. <laughs> there we go, four out of five. Right, well, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you've seen these. I mean, say they're a bit of a, an obscure buy. You don't see many of them. You don't see it in regular supermarkets really, and they're not that popular. I don't think I wouldn't have said. So uh, let me know if you've seen these and what you think. Mm. I used to get lots of adverts for fries, Turkish delight back when I was younger, but don't really see them anymore. Um, for anything for eyes really but mind you i don't see many adverts these days so who knows but yeah then um, let me know if you've seen this what you think and try the others if you have as well and um i think you'll like them just as much <laughs> okay thanks for watching guys take care follow me to subscribe to my videos leave a comment for free and i'll see you next time take care everyone instagram as well <laughs> bye for now see ya bye